some poses. The poses look a little different depending on whether or not you have the fan blades on the side that is covered with fabric or the side that is not. This side is covered with fabric and I'm going to show you the first few poses. This pose I call the mantilla. The mantilla is the comb over which a lacy shawl is draped on the head of a Spanish dancer. This is the mantilla overhead. This is the mantilla on the head, the mantilla over the head, the mantilla on the head. My palms are facing away from you and my hands are resting fully on the fans. I'm going to bring the mantilla down in front of my face and I'm calling this the mask. All I've done is take it from my head and bring it down to cover my face. If I take the fans and put the tips together instead of having them opened, I call this the warrior princess headdress. This is how it looks from the front and from the side. So it's just slightly differently angled. I've taken them from the open position and brought the ends towards the back. This is the warrior headdress. If I take the fans and flip them over and rest them on my forearms, then I have what I call the winged victory pose. You just flip them over, over my shoulder, and then lift my arms up. This is winged victory. Let me show that from the side. Let me show that from the front. The fans are resting on my forearms and my arms are straight and in a V position. If I take the fans from this position, lift my elbows and rest the fans on my shoulders and my arms are resting on my chest and I lift by, by pressing my arms down onto my bust and I lift, it makes the Elizabethan collar, which is a very pretty pose. If I lift my elbows even higher and have my hands resting on the sides of my neck, I call this the cape because it's hanging down in the back like a cape. I'm going to open the fans. I'm going to drop my hands and I'm going to cross my arms. And I call this cross your heart. 